Today we are going to make an interesting IoT-based application. IoT-based control helps us to regulate devices and mechanisms wirelessly. Normally to operate devices connected to an electrical switch, we have to press the button manually. So let's add a wireless control to this switch and make it a smart switchboard. In this project, we will learn how to create an automatic switchboard controlled over Wi-Fi. Without touching the switch manually, you can make the device turn on and off. Let's build it. Take four one-hole beams, and one male-to-male -male coupler and join them together as shown. Now repeat this step to create five more structures like this. Take one one-hole beam, one male-to-male -male coupler and one five-hole beam and join them together as shown. Repeat this process to make three more structures like this. Now take two each of the previous structures and join them in a rectangular manner as shown. Repeat this step to create another rectangle. Now take the connectors from the previous step and join them to one rectangle. Grab the switchboard. Attach the rectangle with connectors sideways as shown. Next, join the other rectangle via the connectors on the switchboard. Now let's make the automating mechanism. Take the servo motor, one battery holder, one one-hole beam, one male-to-male -male coupler and one one-hole elbow and join them as shown. Now attach one three-hole elbow, one hole beam and four one-hole elbows as shown. Connect the servo shaft attached to the shaft piece on this part. This part will control the switch. Now set the servo blocks to a maximum that is 180 degrees. Join the servo shaft piece to the servo motor as shown. Make sure that the shaft is in the vertical position as shown. Check the shaft movement by connecting the servo blocks to the power blocks and switching it on. Now connect the shaft screw on the servo motor. Fix the screw properly using a screwdriver. Attach the mechanism to the switchboard. Add a blocks holder to the board to attach the blocks. Connect the battery to the structure through a battery holder. The last step is to create the logic for the switches working. First, connect the power blocks to the Wi-Fi 2 channel blocks. Then join the servo blocks to the Wi-Fi blocks. This completes the logic part. Now let's see how to control our Wi-Fi switchboard using our mobile phone. First turn on the power blocks. This ensures that Wi-Fi blocks is receiving power. Now take your smartphone and turn on your phone's Wi-Fi then go to the Wi-Fi settings. Here search for the Wi-Fi network named Wi-Fi Clip V2. Now connect to the Wi-Fi Clip V2 network by entering the password of the Wi-Fi blocks. The password is mentioned on the Wi-Fi blocks. Once the password is entered correctly, it will display connected. Now head over to the Wi-Fi Clip app. Select dual channel Wi-Fi blocks. There are two channels waiting for your command. Attach the blocks logic on the board and voila your Wi-Fi switchboard is now ready for use.
Such wireless controlled switchboards are used in home automation, industrial automation, smart devices and also in healthcare settings for patient comfort.